Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about how we can uh, plot uh, XRD data in origin. So here I'm going to talk about two easy ways and I'm going to tell you each and everything from scratch. If you're a beginner or you are just like new to origin or want to plot your XRD data for the very first time. So here you can see in origin I have uh, data of my two samples. Uh, it's the data for sample 1 and it's the data for sample 2 and I have two columns so one is angle and the another one is intensity because uh, for the XRD data we have two desired uh, axes like angle on x-axis and intensity on y-axis if you have your uh, data like in this form as I'm going to show you like in this form uh, copied from your instrument then what you can do is either you can delete all these rows here in excel and uh, just keep angle and intensity uh, ex, uh, intensity columns here and delete this uh, time and this est column here in the excel or uh, what else you can do is you just select all copy all this data go to origin paste this data and then delete columns and the rows uh, in origin because origin is really very flexible and can help you uh, to uh, manipulate your data the way you want so here i have already did uh, that step and i have pasted copy and pasted my data in origin so as i said the angle uh, for the xrd graph should be on x-axis and the intensity should be on y-axis so it goes right for the sample one but as you can see uh, in the sample two for the sample two the default uh, axis here is shown is y which should be the x-axis so i'm gonna change it and it's very quick select this column and go here and select this x so you are gonna make this uh, y axis or you're gonna change this y to the x axis so it's the x axis it means this is the x axis of your sample one and this is the x axis of your sample two it's the y axis of your sample one and it's the y axis of your sample two so for uh, plotting this data there are two simple ways uh, by which you can plot i'm going to show you both step one by one so first of all you have to select all this data go in here here you can see this uh, graph icon here select on this and uh, for the first one you can just like uh, plot as stacked lines by y offset so just click on it and you will see your data in this form okay so you can move the uh, move this box here anywhere you want here and then you can label this as well and uh, uh, you can label the x and y axis here by just like simply clicking on this and what else you can do if you want to uh, it like uh, there are uh, if you want to make it more interactive so you can just like put the scales all around here uh, if i want to put this scale here as well so uh, just go in here and put this so it's here so if you want to put the scale on top as well so go in here and put it and you can as i said you can move this box anywhere you want so i'm moving it here and if you want to delete anything just like the name of any axis or something just click on it and press delete on your keyboard click on it and press delete on your keyboard and if you want to delete these numbers as well like if you don't need them just click on them and press delete on your keyboard just select any of number they all will be automatically selected and delete that's done so uh, what else you can do is you can uh, like change the uh, x and y axis just like the uh, difference between the x uh, um, axis value so you can click on the x axis like if you want to change uh, the, the value on x axis like the scale or anything very much click on it it will be appear go to the scale before you can see it's just like uh, uh, arranged as by increment so it's the increasing number here like 10 20 is the increment and uh, the value you uh, required 
and uh, uh, so it's increment and the difference between them is a slight 10 so what you have to do is uh, just uh, can change it just like if you want to make it 20 make it 20 and click apply and so now the difference between them is 20 and if you want to make it 15 click like right 15 and apply in this way you can modify your x-axis and if you want to modify your y-axis as well just go in here on vertical because y-axis is vertical axis so the values are starting from minus 100 and going till 900 so what you can do is you can arrange them anywhere you want just like i'm going to start from zero just like apply so it will be just like so closer and if you want to make it 10 apply just like this okay so it's all up to you how you are going to arrange your uh, uh, graphs and uploads and each and everything okay and uh, so in this way it will be uh, kept on changing so here i'm gonna keep it minus 10 and apply all right and click ok so you can label your uh, x and y axis if it is just like y offset and you don't need any numbers on y axis because you're just comparing the graphs and then you can either delete this y axis as well it's all up to you how you're gonna make it and if you uh, feel like uh, it is uh, if you feel like it, they are like apart from each other and you want to make them a little bit closer so what you can do it's just like quite an advanced setting but you can if you want you can use this you just click anywhere on the graph on the plot and you can see that both these plots are dependent on each other that's why we can now move them make them independent okay and apply they're gonna get really very close or overlap to each other but don't worry at all at this time you have to go to the layer option to make them separate it go to the stack and here they are auto stacked and the gap between them is just like 10 percent which is really very less that's why they are uh, overlapping each other so what you can do make it individual and make it if you want to move them along the y-axis and uh, just to adjust the gap then click on y-axis and if you also move, want to move the graph on x-axis as well then you can click on x-axis but i don't recommend clicking on x-axis because then uh, your all data will be just like altered and i don't want you to mess up with your data at this stage so i want to keep it y and apply so they are moved a little bit so click ok so now you will be free to move them anywhere just like according to your own choice all right like here there anywhere where you want uh, as per your own choice so it's the first way to plot your xrd data and if you want to plot it like uh, the other way so you can go back uh, if you want to go back to your data just click in here go back to your data and your data is here select it all again and go to the same drop option again and but at this time what you have to do is you have to use the option oh here so in this time what you have to do is you have to make the stacks so just click on stack and uh, this window will appear just simply click ok and your data will be appeared in this form so if you want to delete this axis delete it if you want to delete the number or you if you as i said before if you want to adjust the number click on the scale like if you want to adjust the scale click anywhere on the number and here go to the scale option and here you can make the increment by 15 or any uh, anything which you want and click ok to make the graph like the plot much more cleaner and you can move these boxes Click on it. Click on it and move it here. 
click on it and move it here okay so if you want to change the color of your plaid click on this plaid anywhere on the plaids and here you can see the color if I let's say I want, want I want to make it red apply and just red now and so that you can just like compare your different samples in different colors and like that so click ok and uh, if you think that uh, this area is quite wide and you want to make them a bit closer so what you can do is click on the graph and you can adjust it like this and they will be smaller so as they both are now dependent on each other so their size will remain the same all the time no matter which one you adjust they will be of the same size just to give you a good overview of your uh, graph so here is that as a is the y-axis here so if you want don't need it just like if you are comparing it you can delete it you can delete it and as the you have intensity on y-axis what you can do is you can write intensity here and uh, simply can then drag it to anywhere just like label it just like it's the angle and it's the intensity and, the, and then you can label it and, and do these things. So I hope you like the video. So uh, if you like it please do subscribe my channel. Thank you very much for watching till end.